Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asan, and today we are going to reduce admin ajax.php server load or CPU usage in WordPress. Before starting work, it's my request. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Now back to our work. So we will do this through plugin. So go to plugin and click on add new. And in search plugin, write heartbeat control. And this is plugin we will use. So click on install now. And then click on activate it. So plugin is activated now. And also I open plugin detail description tab. Here you see all detail regarding this plugin and why we need this plugin. Because if you use a shared hosting plan, you need to take a closer look at the CPU usage of your server. That's because some hosting company might suspend your account when you go over the limit. So that's why we need this plugin to reduce CPU usage or admin ajax.php server load in WordPress website. Also heartbeat API send ajax request using admin ajax.php file each request that execute php file is equal to cpu time on the server this can cause large number of requests sent to hosting server which result in high cpu utilization so today we will fix this through this plugin and in description tab you see by default as a request sent every 50 second on post edit page and every 60 second on dashboard so we will modify or completely disable this so go to plugin setting in settings you see heartbeat control so click on it so general settings are open for this plugin now you see wordpress dashboard front end and post editor and allow heartbeat on all three section and also you see disable heartbeat or modify heartbeat if you want you can completely disable heartbeat on wordpress dashboard front and post editor like this but if you are thinking to stop heartbeat api completely without the wordpress heartbeat api all the changes you made in the post will be lost should you ever forget to click the save drop button and you will no longer have access to revision feature in wordpress but main point is if you are working alone and all of these functions do not matter much to you you can then proceed to stop the wordpress heartbeat api completely and then click on save changes otherwise you might consider controlling the api instead and best setting is control heartbeat is modify heartbeat for wordpress dashboard front end disable heartbeat and post editor modify heartbeat when you click on modify heartbeat then you see override heartbeat frequency and override heartbeat frequency mean the number of callback you allow for each determined location the value ranges from 15 to 300 second like this this is minimum 15 and maximum 300 second so you can set more than 200 for practical approach so i select 250 for both and this is a more practical approach if you have multiple authors working on the same wordpress website so you can set our right heat frequency and modify it according to your requirement and click on save changes so setting are save and again if you are working alone and all of these options do not matter much to you you can then proceed to stop the wordpress heartbeat api and you can completely disable all of these three options and then click on save changes so it depends on you so i hope you like this video please like comment share subscribe thank you for watching